So I just got these, um, flip them around. As you can see, they're out of the packaging. You can obviously see what they are, um, potentially you know what they are, but I fit these up from the, the Matco Tools website. You can see the model number. Um, probably heard me say in another video that I don't really have much of these uh, professional, you know, tools or tool branded items. This might be my third or fourth Matco item, period. And I do have quite a bit of stuff, but they're off auto brands um, because this actual tool um, isn't, you know, Matco didn't come out with it. They didn't manufacture it. They just uh, put their logo on it. Um, in fact, I thought it was funny, you know, when I read the back, so that's the item right there. A little bit of lit, lit la, literature. Kind of just scroll up real slow so you can read. But most people are concerned about where stuff is made. Uh, Maca Tools is supposed to be in, in Stowe, Ohio. But if you look at this, um, people are always concerned about, you know, US made, Taiwan made, Chinese made um, stuff. Yeah, I'm concerned about it because I like quality items, but this is uh, made in Taiwan to Matco specifications. Uh, usually, usually you never see that. Like I said, I don't own much Matco tools, so I don't know if that's all, on all of them. <clears throat> but this is a Mueller Kepps item. And I want to say it's it's fairly new actually because I tried finding this, you know, on Amazon or elsewhere that I've purchased Mueller Kepps item before. Um, and if you're not familiar with Mueller caps, so that's normally how their items are labeled and they look. So they do have the green finish. Like I do have this, like I can, I'll go for this real quick and I'll show you the difference. Unfortunately, actually no, it's not even unfortunately. Um, so this is a, the item that's in this little piece of back end like flyer thing that came with this unit. Just a quick look though, um, pop this open. You can see Matco and here's that said item and you can see the, the finish on it. Um, and you can see the brand name, right? And if we compare this item to this item, you, you can see the finish. It's the same. It's just, so we'll put this to the side. And it's the same with a longer version of that said item. The only difference that I noticed recently is that the fact that this item and that item, being that they're just different lengths, really it's the same size head. It's just the, the name of the labeling on the, the package. There's no Mueller caps on this and there's Mueller caps on there, so. But anyway, that's beside the point. Um, so this is, that's what people would say, rebranded, but I couldn't find it. Maybe it's not released to other manufacturers yet or released, you know, to be sold on the open market. So maybe, uh, maybe my co came up with the rights or whatever, or the whatever. But first look, first feel on Dangerous Blade, don't cut yourself. It's uh, relatively sharp. Solid feel in the hand though, solid fit. Um, striking cap, if you need to strike for whatever reason, you got a little pass through hole for a lanyard if you need to. Um, super nice finish, definitely not gonna, you know, get them, you got them. I think you can buy these separate on Matco's website, but that's the model number of this, this blade finish. Um, it's only on one side of the blade that you have the model number, if you care about it. And you got this guy, and that's the the part number, if I could get it. There we go. Same striking cap, lanyard, little hole. Finish, nice, nice. The blade, you know, kind of stops right there, and, you know, you can see it on the back side. It does get sharp also, pointy tip. And then this nice-looking one here, uh, that's, the, that's the model number right there. Same construction there 
striking tip with a lanyard. I don't know why you'd want to strike it, but you can see where the blade starts. And then it just kind of hooks right here. There's no, it's not sharp on the rod. The, uh, eh, ooh, damn, that felt like it just cut me, but I think that was just a reaction. It did not cut me. <laughs> and it's not sharp on the outside here. I don't know why that just feel weird for a second. But, um, so it's good for, you know, you can use it on coolant hoses, wires, wire looms, carpet, hard to reach zip ties, door panels, and plastic. So how would I use this? You know, if I had a, if I had to cut something at an angle or a profile or something, or when I held this, I, instead of holding it like this, or like, you know, lefty, whatever, holding it like this, you can hold it like this to cut, you know, but you can also, for finer detail, you can actually hold it like this, like a pencil almost, and get down there and kind of, kind of gouge something out if you needed to. Um, this is more of like a standard, more looking standard knife almost, except it's kind of hooked. So this is more like the carpet type. You know, you can hook it almost and drag it and it's not gonna really catch. It will just cut and go through, but yeah. And then this one is more like your wire is like if you have a wire down in a deep, a harder reach area, you can like hook it and the inside of the this, the half circle right here, you just hook it and pull towards you and it will, uh, or pull down or whatever angle you're going at, once it kind of hooks, it will get you there. Um, like I said, Mueller cups, you know, foam case in, take it out, um, fits nicely in there. It's obviously, it's, you can't invert it without it falling out, but it's nicely securely packaged. Not a lot of wasted room. You know, you got this little area right here, but not a lot of wasted room as far as the packaging goes. But super nice finish. It was about like 130 bucks. Carter, chill out with the knives, man. I said chill out with the knives. So, um, yeah. Picked it up, liked it. And like I said, hopefully, I mean, hopefully I don't have to cut anything, but if I ever had to cut something, this will be my go-to. Um, automotive knife set as far as like you know cut stuff I'm not gonna use it to necessarily open boxes or something but you could use it to open boxes and you can always I mean these are really th really thick blades they're really thick you can you can sharpen them I'm pretty sure try not to get cut like I said I don't see these um, available on Mueller caps yet um, on any type of website so they might be cheaper when they're available, but these, uh, they look good. You know, I think they only come in this color though, because again, this is Mueller Kepps. Like I said, they have retain, retain, retained their kind of green color. This is pretty standard for Mueller Kepps as far as the color and the finish. So I think whereas these have Matco on it, they have return, retained, not returned, retained the greenish color or greenish labeling. But anyway, uh, one last look at the part number right there. But, yep, that's the, that is that. I'll call that one a wrap. As me always say, um, like, condom, hit the thing, as always.